Jackson. What happens at the end of the day? The bad guys lose. Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 online video. And in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your existing character in GTA Online look like Jax Teller from the Sons of Anarchy. So if you are a long time subscriber of my channel you will know that I have made one of these videos previously to the Boiga DLC. So now we've had the Boiga DLC, we've got the new cuts, new hairstyles. Uh, I'm going to redo this video with all them new items and we're going to start at the Barbers. So we are in the hot seat and we're going to start with the hairstyles. Once you get into the hairstyles you are going to find this loose swept back. And you want to get it in colour 11. And for the highlights you want to purchase it in highlight 14. So then we're going to go on to the beards. For the beards you want to go and purchase this circle beard. And you want to purchase it in colour. What colour are we going to go for? Um, no, it looks too ginger. I think we're going to go with... Yeah, we're going to go with colour 9. Next, we're going to go to the eyebrows. So you want to purchase these eyebrows called Fade Away and you want to get them in colour 4. So to finish off in the barbers, we're going to go to contacts and you want to purchase Ocean Blue Eye Contacts. Right, so now we're in the clothes store. You want to go over to the tops to start and we want to go down to biker cuts. Once in biker cuts, you want to go and find... Yeah, we're going to go with this one. It's called Black Leather Cut. Then you want to go into the t-shirts and just purchase a white t-shirt. And obviously, if you're in a crew, you want to purchase the crew emblem. Uh, at the moment, I'm in my crew, which is called the Warriors Nomad. So obviously, if you guys are in a Sons of Anarchy crew, that would be fucking sweet. You could get the crew emblem on the back. But just for the effect, I am going to get my... Uh, crew emblem on the back of this cut. After you've done the tops, you want to then go to the pants, straight into the jeans category, and you want to go and purchase these blue loose jeans. Next, we're going to go over to the shoes. You want to go into the sports shoes category and purchase these all white sports shoes. Next, we're going to go over to the accessories. You want to go to gloves and purchase, uh, yeah, these ones here, the black leather gloves. So the last place we're going to go is the tattoo parlor and we're going to purchase his tattoos on his right and left arm and he has a, a, a tattoo going down his left arm in old english i believe it says thomas obviously we're not going to be able to get uh, thomas written down the down his forearm in this but maybe we could get something very similar so i'm going to quickly flip through these see what matches the best and i'll be back with you in a moment a few moments later Right guys, I've been flicking through these tattoos off for the left forearm and we can't get any type of uh, lettering or wording on the back of the forearm, uh, unfortunately. So what I'm going to go with is this Fatal Dagger. It looks the best and it fills the majority of the, the forearm. So yep, this is the one I'm going to go with. And obviously it's entirely up to you guys what tattoo you go for, but this is the one I'm going for. So for the right arm tattoo, it is a uh, in memory of John Teller, which is obviously his father uh, in the Sons of Anarchy. So it is a headstone with a, a little bit of text. So I'm just gonna flick through these and see which ones match, match the best. And uh, I'll be back in a moment. Eventually. Again, guys, there's nothing really that um, matches Jack Teller's normal tattoo on his right forearm and it is on the top of his forearm this one so uh, I've been flicking through and I'm gonna settle for this one it's called Grim Rider it, it's in the right position it's just not this type of design which Jack Teller has uh, but it's a you know it's a Grim Reaper riding a bike so I thought that was quite suitable so this is the one I'm gonna go for Grim Rider well, what I'm going to do quickly guys, I'm going to take you back into the barbers and go into hairstyles because I was doing obviously the clothes and the tattoos and I thought uh, his hair looks kind of dark uh, for Jax Teller because he is quite blonde. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it from colour 11 to 15. I think that's a little bit better, it's a bit lighter uh, and I, in my opinion I think it looks better. Same for the beards, I am also going to change the colour, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. 
But for this one, I'm just going to go down to color 11. I'm also going to change the color of the eyebrows. Uh, I'm going to change it from color 4 to color 3. So there you go, my dudes. There is my revised tutorial on how to cosplay as Jax Teller in GTA Online. Now, in my opinion, this is 10 times better than my original, even though I was quite proud of my original video. Uh, the hair's different. The beard's different. And uh, I think that makes a massive um, difference and an improvement on my previous video. And 100% the cut. I mean, you can't deny the cut now um, makes this tutorial a hundred times better than the last one. All I can say is a massive shame that Rockstar hasn't allowed us to put anything other than a plain t-shirt underneath the cuts. You can't put no shirts, you can't put no hoodies, you, you can't put jackets, it just doesn't make no sense. I don't understand why they've done that. Literally, all you can do is put one of these t-shirts underneath the cut. That's it. That's all. Obviously, you got the other ones with patterns on them, with like the new Western uh, motorcycle clubs and all whatever whatever it is it says on them. You can put all them underneath there. But what I'm saying is, it's just this basic T-shirt, this shape. You can't put the baggy ones underneath there either. Just this T-shirt shape. You can't even put a V-neck for that matter. <laughs> just this this shape T-shirt. That's the only sort of T-shirt uh, you can put underneath the cut. Like I said, no hoodies, no shirts, no V-necks, no baggy tops nothing it's just ridiculous i don't understand why they've done that but anyway because it is only jack's teller he does occasionally wear a white t-shirt underneath his cut so i'm quite happy to use um this as the cosplay tutorial for jack's teller uh obviously i went back and changed the hair color because i thought my original choice was quite dark and i think uh, me making it a little bit lighter has made it a look, look a little bit better uh, also with the tattoos uh, they're not great but uh, in my opinion, they're the best types of tattoos you can get in them areas, um, which match closest to Jax's tattoos in the program. And yeah, overall, guys, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. As always, you let me know what you think of this tutorial in the comments below. It's always appreciated. And if you did go on to enjoy this video, smash a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.